Okay, so even people who are very introvert, because they are introvert, they don't express normally the emotions. But when they do that, okay. the left brain is shut down, okay. mm -hmm. with the right brain coming all different emotions. And, yeah, and you can't say that, yes, you are aggressive, you are angry. I can see the anger from you or from you or from you, but it's not intentionally towards me. It's just an emotion, a pure emotion that comes out on the surface. And what's wrong with that? Nothing. Mm -hmm. It's a kind of catharsis. Mm -hmm. It's an emotion that comes on the surface without the thoughts around. The thought and the emotion together, this makes the two, the, this vicious circle. And people can lose control. Why? Because when we mix the emotion and the thought, you know, the, you know, there is a good exercise where people are suggested to take the, the tennis rocket and beat on the floor, beat on the mattress yeah, yeah. to release emotions. Here is the same. With the gibberish, fast gibberish <coughs> brings on the surface different kinds of emotion. It can be anger, aggressiveness, laughter. With Veronique, we had laughter. Mm -hmm. um, all emotions can come. And on the spectrum of the emotions, we have many emotions, all are, ho must be honored in an even way. We cannot say that there is one emotion which is negative. Even if I say uh, that it's not the most precise way to uh, uh, express aggressive anger towards somebody, it's not, it's not the best, but it may, may be better than to store it up. And there is also, do you know, there is even an anger which is a precise anger. You know that? There is an anger which is a precise anger that behind it comes and, and compassion. Mm. When, when a parent says something to the child, don't do that, but with love and compassion, he may look angry, but inside it's not a real anger. It's not an aggressive anger. It's an anger with love. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. Or, or mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's very dangerous, to, and, you know. But it depends how you say it. Mm -hmm. So there is like anger, but it's anger with compassion. Okay? So um, even in, in Buddhism, maybe you know, uh, the Dalai Lama talks about that in some s s s circumstances, uh, when you defend yourself, you have to, to kill someone, but you feel the compassion towards. You don't do it out of hatred. So it depends how you do that. So also here, we we... It's not that we are angry towards the person, but different emotions that are stored mm -hmm. in us, they come into the surf, on the surface. They pop up. They pop up. That's why it's important to do exercises like that a lot of long time. It's like jogging every day. Right? If I jog, I yeah, I, I become lighter. I, yeah? If I'm angry, I'm going to jog. Then I feel lighter. I lose something, some weight here. Uh -huh. yeah? For example, you know, some people they take the tennis or, or we can do it with gibberish. The emotions by themselves are fine, all of them. Sadness is fine, what's wrong to be sad? If you don't want to be sad and you, you, you always ignore it and hide it, then it becomes a chronic depression <laughs> for all life. But when you admit it and you play with it, and you sh yeah, I'm sad, so what? Happiness is the flexibility of moving in between all the emotions. And uh, many people tell me, yes, but the cloud is sad. The cloud is always sad. Do you know this proverb? Mm -hmm. The cloud is sad uh, uh, like uh, the shoemaker is barefoot. The cloud can hold uh, joy and sadness in the same time. Because the clown appreciates the all emotions. He's authentic. If a person only wants to be joyful, yes, he's not authentic. Can't be. Of course, uh, when you give the, the you honor the emotions, the emotions are passing away, then joy is coming. Joy is coming if we let the and honor the whole spectrum of emotion. Sadness, dissatisfaction, hatred, anger, everything. It's coming, disappearing. Come, no, no emotion is permanent. Mm -hmm. So we are talking here about the law of impermanence mm -hmm. in life. Everything mm -hmm. is permanent. Nothing is stable. Also marriage life 
Everything is impermanent. You are not the same person with the years. We are all changing. <coughs> changing, changing. The, the sensation on the body is changing. The weather is changing. Everything is changing. We are not the same person. We cannot think the same on the life. Yeah. So this is something about uh, uh, expression uh, of emotions. As we see, the clown, the archetype of, of silliness, the buffon, they can be sad and they can be happy. But the, the, the clown is not depressed. He's not, he's not a chronically depressed or pessimistic. In order to appreciate joy and positivism, you have to acknowledge the bad things. Acknowledge and know that they are. And because of that, you can choose positive things. I wrote here, Alice Held Sommer, the pianist. You know her from television and from the great interview with Tony Robbins. I appreciate Tony Robbins much because he's a life coach not only about money. Even he has the big resort in Fiji. The resort. Yeah. You know, did you see the resort in Fiji? I didn't know what about it. No, he has. <laughs> I know. Tony Robbins. Yeah. He's, a, he's, a, he's the most uh, well-known life coach. And Anthony Robbins. Anthony Robbins. Anthony. Yes. Anthony Robbins. But he posed. He, he is the one with the Hindersuppe, with this uh, di uh, book. Um, I don't know. Uh, uh, yes, uh, to awake the, the giant that is in, is, is an, another. No, I didn't read it. To awake the giant that inside, or something like that. Well, right? Uh, so when he interviews really Alice really Held Sommer, who was a pianist, she died three years ago, she was 110, a Jewish uh, Holocaust mm. survivor. And she says, I know about the bad things, but I focus on the good things. Mm -hmm. I know about the bad things, but because I know I focus on the good, she says people are all good, also the bad people are all good. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's a very paradoxical. She acknowledged there is like bad, but it's said it's not a bad. If people react because of <coughs> their inner suffering and pain, we can bl cannot blame them. Viktor Frankl reminds us that people try to pursue happiness or to run after happiness or to run after money or to run after success. And he says you cannot run after happiness. It should be a byproduct of something else. When you do something where you are precise with yourself, or when you do something with your, where you are beyond yourself, then a byproduct of it is a self-fulfillment or kind of happiness. So, um, the paradox, you, you, you will see, you see that when we pursue something, it becomes more far from us. Okay? It becomes much more far. Yes? We want to, we want to, we want to win, we don't win. We want a success. We don't, have. Yes. don't aim at success, Victor Falcon says. Don't, don't aim at success. You will never succeed, <coughs> succeed if you <coughs> aim at it. Yeah? <coughs> when you take a distance from something, then it becomes more reachable. It's the same with gibberish. It helps us to take a distance from something. A distance from, from the problem, from ourselves. That's why, you know, I, I had a lot of debate with... with with many people, because um, sometimes we have a big crisis in life, from time to time. Sometimes, they, sometimes we have a short crisis, sometimes we have a long crisis, even for one year. And people say, yes, but if you go to a vacation, you run away from the problem. It may sound true, you run away, but when you go to a vacation, or you go to a meditation retreat, you take a distance from and then you are less mixed, and you don't think about the problem. You rest with your mind, and then after some time you can back to, to your country. Or to, you know, you have to do, sometimes you have to like run away, but it's like we take a step out. And people say, no, no, face it, face it, face it. Of course, you can face it, but sometimes you need to take a step out also physically. 
פיזיקלי. Yeah. It's a very paradoxical, יש לי פיקפון. Try to... Sometimes the incubation time for the, you know, to take a visit from problem is required that we go physically far from the place we stay physically. To change the mindset. And I don't, I don't see anything going on here. Some people will say, yes, you, you, you are the way. Okay. But I must take a distance. Yeah? When we take a distance, to take a distance It's to laugh also, you know, it's to go again, beyond the rules, the laws, it's to travel, it's to change the, the biochemistry of your mind, <coughs> when we take a distance. Chibush is also on a small scale, yeah? As a... Questions? No. Break? Yes. Yes. <laughs> And? And? It's 8.30.